Hey, this is Chef Steve from the Galveston School of Cooking, and today we're making chocolate-covered strawberries. Oh, look at those. You just eat them up. Guess what you're going to need? You're going to need some chocolate. And you guessed it, strawberries. We're going to make a double boiler. So let's place about one inch of water into a saucepan. We'll bring that to a soft bowl, and we'll place a bowl on top. Here I'm using a stainless steel bowl. Be sure that your bowl does not touch the water. It needs to sit above the water so the steam heats it up. And I am using the good chocolate, Ghirardelli milk chocolate. I'm using milk chocolate on these. You can use the semi-sweets if you want, but milk chocolate's just a little bit sweeter, so I like that. Just place your chocolate over the boiling water and in just a few seconds it will start to melt like this. And I'm going to add about half a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Make sure it's clean new vegetable oil and not the one that you used to fry your potatoes a couple of nights ago. Somehow I know that it adds a certain french fry flavor to your chocolate. But anyway, I digress. After uh, about 30, 45 seconds, your chocolate will start looking like this. Traditionally, the uh, chocolate-covered strawberries are for Valentine's, but uh, I think they're good for any day. No need for a special occasion. Okay, check your chocolate. I've got a couple of little chips still left in there. Leave it on the burner. This took me about 90 seconds. Keep your heat on medium. You don't want to burn your chocolate. Melting it slow is much better than trying to melt it fast. So that looks pretty good. So we'll move it over to the island and start dipping our strawberries. You want to pull the green stems up so you have a clean dipping surface. And just stick them in there and roll them around. Just like that. I'm using aluminum foil, but you can use parchment paper, wax paper, butcher paper, whatever. And if you'll use cold strawberries out of the fridge, it will cool your chocolate down faster. Which is a good thing. That means you can eat your strawberries sooner. So you can stop here if you just want the milk chocolate on your strawberries. But I'm going to place a design on mine using white chocolate. So we'll place white chocolate chips in the double boiler like we did before. Add just a touch of vegetable oil. Stir that until it melts. And we're gonna place this into a homemade piping bag. We're gonna make a piping bag out of a Ziploc sandwich bag. Our white chocolate is almost ready. Just a few more seconds. Getting close. I see just a couple of chips left in there. There we go. It's ready now. Okay, this is a Ziploc sandwich bag. And I'm going to place the melted white chocolate into it. And what we'll do is we'll snip off just a tiny portion of one corner and we'll squeeze the chocolate down and squirt it onto our strawberries. Gotta get every little drop there. This stuff's good. Okay, so we're gonna snip off just a tiny corner of the bag. You don't need much, just a tiny little bit. Believe me, it comes out fast. So we'll squeeze it together, push it out, give it a little test. There we go. And then start decorating your strawberries. Any kind of design you want. This is an underestimated art skill. It's very hard to do, um, but I'm sure you can do it. Hey, I'm doing it. They're not beautiful, but they sure do taste good. And there you have it. It's pretty easy, huh? Melt some chocolate, dip a strawberry. Melt some more chocolate, dip a strawberry. Paint your strawberry, whatever. But they're so good. 
and your significant other is going to just Covered strawberries. Hey, thanks for watching. We have fun around here. Cooking should be fun. This is Chef Steve at the Galveston School of Cooking in Galveston, Texas. So check out this and more at galvestonschoolofcooking.com. Thanks for watching. And please hit subscribe if you would like. I would like for you to. See you next time.